Introducing from New Jersey, this is Pete's Corner once again. What up, what up? Welcome to Pete's Corner. And this is a special show of Pete's Corner as we're doing a wrestling show as this week is the Royal Rumble. I'm your host, Peter Soprano, a.k.a. The Sports Guy. To my right, D-Money Drizzy Dre. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Drizzy Dre. And we got a bunch of matches to get to. Listen, you guys know you can bet on these events, too. So oh, you, hell yeah, right? So you can get go there. And anybody that it. got five dimes, anybody that yep. got those websites, you can literally pick which superstars are going to come in, which, which entry, yep. who's going to be the last four. Guys, exactly. there's a lot of props for this. And if you can bet the actual, and when you pick the actual winner of the Royal Rumble, you get pretty good odds at it, too, because you got oh, yeah. 30 people in there. So And they only announced a few people, so you really can get good odds right now. Um, let's start off first with what's going to be on Saturday. They aren't doing a takeover, surprisingly, no. so it's going to be a little bit different. They're doing NXT versus uh, the UK NXT. So we're not going to really go too much into it. We're just, to me, there's only one match that's worth really talking about that probably will be on the betting slate, and that's for the Women's World Championship, Rhea Ripley versus Tony Storm. Um, I'll get my pick first on it. I'm going to say that, listen... Tony Storm, I know, is being Rhea Ripley a couple times, but I just don't see how, after how much of a build that they had on Rhea Ripley, how they had her completely, pretty much dominate all of all of the uh, Survivor Series weekend, and how she finally beat Shayna Baszler after being the champion, two time champion, and being the champion so long. I don't see how they're going to take the belt from her that fast. So. I'm going to go Rhea Ripley, Rhea Ripley to retain the title. What do you think, Brian? I agree with you. I personally think that she's had too much of a momentum to just stop here, you know. I can see her losing down the line. I could possibly see this building up, you know, even longer, possibly yeah. down. I, I, I don't like because I, I know this is the road to WrestleMania, but I'm not sure if this could drag to that long. It possibly can, though, but I think, yeah. I, I, I think this is going to be something, uh, you know, a, a few that we're going to see not just this weekend, but within the months to come. But I do agree with you. I, I do like uh, Rhea Ripley in, in this match. All right. So with that said, let's move on to the actual big card. This is the Royal Rumble. Uh, I don't know if this will be the first match. I suggest it should be on the pre-show because I don't even like the match that much. <laughs> Shorty G versus Sheamus. Oh, what are God. your thoughts on that first? Listen, Sheamus, no doubt about it. Uh-huh. I mean, look, he came back. Man, and and the crowd's loving him, man. Um, I, I, Fella, <laughs> <laughs> listen, I'm excited. Uh, they they kind of they kind of have this old school Sheamus, you know, yeah, with the with the with the with the Celtic Warrior and all that. Yep. Um, I, I like him to win. No uh, more Mohawk. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you look stupid. <laughs> no more. None he actually that. talked about that too. Yeah, he was like, "Listen, yeah. I didn't want to come back with no Mohawk. No, I didn't want to deal yeah, with that." Exactly, and I like he acknowledged that, but um. But I, I personally like him to get the win. Mm-hmm. Um, I think this is going to be, again, a, a match that's going to help him head into the right direction um, a, a, as we kick off the road to WrestleMania. What about you, Pete? Uh, I'm going to agree with that. Um, first of all, I don't like the Shorty G character. I just can't get into it. I understand. Listen, oh, you're short. You, you can make fun of it. Um, maybe it does something for kids or whatever like that. But to me, it does nothing. Um, Sheamus is just coming back. I don't expect him to bring him back on a loss. Uh, it's possible, but I just don't expect it. So just short and sweet because I think it's the worst match and it should be on the pre-show. I got Sheamus winning that pretty easily. Now to the main show, uh, I'm going to say this is going to Roman Reigns versus no. King Corbin. And I will say I am a King Corbin fan. You know that. I went there and I've cheered for him right there. Pete, I'm not going to lie to you, man. I, I, King Corbin, he's been growing on me. He's been growing on me. I'm not going to lie. He's been growing but on me. But the thing about it is that there's not a lot of true, like, real heels in there. Like, you have a lot of people that are – First of all, the people that I think are really good heels, they don't even have them as heels. Like I think Alexa Bliss makes a really good heel, but they have her as a face right now. Right. Um, you got and you got somebody like Bailey as a heel, and I don't think she does a good heel at all. Like, nah, I, so, yeah. It's, so, so, it's, it's still it's still new. Sasha makes a good heel. Oh Sa- Sa- Sasha's Sasha's really good. So I, I could see that happening. But what? But in terms of this match, I'm gonna go with Roman Reigns just because I don't think there's any way that they're gonna find a way. To, you don't think like a screw, like you don't think like a screwy finish or anything like that might be, might be like the like the outcome of the match or anything. Um, possible, but I, I don't think for an event this big that they're gonna do that. Um, I think that's one of those things that they do for like uh, uh, maybe a Money in the Bank or one one of the second tier pay per views. For one of their big four pay per views, I don't think that's something that they will do. Uh, and and uh, even though I think King Corbin, it would be fine if he won it. I think they're gonna make Roman Reigns win because they don't make him lose that much. Got like he, he's just gonna continue on like that. Right. Yeah, I agree. I think I, I think that Roman is. Gonna, I think Roman Reigns is gonna take this. Uh, he's gonna win this match. Um, again, but I, I, I'm just. I, 
You know what? It's just that person, like I said, uh, uh, Baron Corbin has been growing on me lately. I just don't want to see him, you know, continue to look like the like the less dominant. To me, he needs to he needs to look credible. He needs to look like a credible opponent. But again, losing to Roman Reigns isn't necessarily always a bad thing. Mm-hmm. But I'm just curious to see in what fashion or if there is a, a decisive finish in this match. All right. So with that said, let's move on to the next match: Andrade versus Humberto Carrillo. Um, Listen, they just bringing him back right now. Um, he's coming off a long injury, um, and Andrade. Listen, I, I have a little little conspiracy towards what I think is going to happen here because I think that AJ Styles had the title. He lost the title. Rey Mysterio had the title. Then Rey Mysterio lost it to Andrade. Now, remember, right before all this happened, they were they were close to breaking up Andrade, Andrade, and, and Selena Vega. I remember Selena that. Vega. I remember that. And and that's why we didn't think that he was gonna win the title like on on the live show where we were both at in MSG. That was insane. So with that said, I think that they personally took the title off of AJ. Um, because he had beaten Umberto a couple times too before yeah, it yeah, started. Yep. I think they took the title off AJ because they didn't want AJ to lose to a new guy that's just coming up. Uh, I think on for Andrade, I think it's a little bit more palpable that he can lose to a new guy. So I think they put it. It's going to be a great match that everybody can see that. But I think mm-hmm. it's better for him to lose now than it would be to to lose to, to lose, AJ to lose to him. So. With that said, I think Andrade is going to lose to Umberto wow. Carrillo. Wow, he's going to lose and about I, that quick, and I, and I think he's going to be. There's going to be a new champion. You think so? I that think quick? So. Yeah. Um, I'm have to disagree, man. I think he retains this one. Um, I, I, he just got the title, I, and they're in the, and I'm only going behind the logic that WWE usually doesn't swap titles that soon after you know somebody. True, but, but they but, do. But, but they do no, like it on pay per view. It does happen though. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, I mean, we did see the title change at the live event. Yeah, that was non uh, televised. But with that being said, uh, I'm gonna just have to go with the logic again. You know, I think Andrade is, is gonna benefit from being the champion. But um, mm-hmm. again. That the Royal Rumble surprises. I think at some point Selena uh, screws him. I, I, again, no, and, and and actually I do agree with you, but I just don't think that that um I, I think that's going to happen down the line. Mm-hmm. Again, I think the Royal Rumble is just a pay per view that's going to set up you know potential storylines down the line, road mm-hmm. to WrestleMania, possible possible WrestleMania matches, obviously. But um, I, uh, like I said, I just think it's too soon. I mm-hmm. could be wrong, mm-hmm. but I'm going to have to go with Andrade on this one. All right, and when when that when was that event? About a month ago, right? So he's had it for uh, about a month. Right about a month right, ago. Right, Today's right the 26th. Twenty six. So yeah, it was yeah. A, a, yeah, about a month. And by the time I think it's too Royal soon, Rumble, but again, you you never say never with the WWE. Yeah, and, and the thing is, even with the title, he's had some really good matches. He had that ladder match, which it was, was him. You see him standing up there with the belt and everything like that. So it's not like he hasn't had some moments already, even within that month. Um, I just don't know if they're willing to give him a long title run right now. I mean, he still is um, semi-new to the to the big show. He's been up there for maybe about a year or so, so he's still partially semi-new to the big show. But let's move on to the next match, Bailey and Lacey Evans for the for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Um, Lacey Evans won the match against her last week, last week to get the title shot. Usually when something like that happens, they're going to lose on the, on the pay-per-view. Um, what do you think is going to happen in this match? See, well, what you, so what you just said, Pete, that kind of makes me want to lean towards Bailey, but mm-hmm. I think this might be like a reverse psychology thing. I think we see Lacey Evans uh, uh, pick this one up and... and uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I think so, man. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to have to go with Lacey in this one. <laughs> and even though, like, like you said, she, you know, she just did beat Bailey to become the new champion. But, um, but I, I, I like the whole build up in this one, dude. I think they were even cracking on her daughter at one point. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> that was so bad. That, that was. Like, yo, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yo. <laughs> She, yo, she, yeah, I was Bailey's horrible. been calling her like a bad mom for like yes, a month. Yes, it's yes. like, it's, it's funny. Listen, it's, to all the mama bears out there, I got your back. <laughs> it's funny, but it's been like really like weird. Like, but this is a tough one for me to pick because this is one of those matches where I think the outcome of this could de- determine what's going to happen in the Royal, Women's Royal Rumble. So, with that said, I'm going to say that Lacey Evans on post upset agree and, and say that she's going to win the match. Um, because I think it could set up a member. Bailey wasn't the one that she was originally chasing. It was Sasha. So with that said, if she beats Bailey, then Sasha comes in, and then her and, and Lacey have a title match. Yeah. I can see that happen. Yeah. So yep. I, I agree with you, and I think Lacey Evans will <clears throat> win the title, win her first title on the big show. Um, next matchup will be Becky Lynch versus Oscar. Mm. Another big match. 
Becky Lynch has been on top of the world, been top women's wrestler for the past year. Yeah. The man. And the man, <laughs> exactly. And now the man is, is facing the one person that she can't see in the beat. She's lost to Asuka a few times now. And now this is the big one. She, Asuka again. And she, listen, Becky Lynch was on the backstage show talking yesterday. She said, listen, it's the one person I haven't beaten. Uh, that's why it's the one person I really wanted to go against. Before I re-signed my new contract, I wanted to guarantee that they were going to have this match. And they're going to have this match. Uh, what do you think is going to happen in it? And, and and just to get it clear, this is for the title, correct? Yes, this is for the title. Okay, I, I look, oh, man, wow. I'm going to make a bold prediction. I think Oscar wins. I think she becomes a new champion. And the reason I say that is because I think that we're going to see them down the line, um, mm-hmm. possibly in a triple threat match at WrestleMania or mm-hmm. possibly a one-on-one match. Again, the, the, and I know, and I know this is, you know, I, I, I'm trying to think with the WWE logic here now. Mm-hmm. If you were to point a gun to my head and says who wins, obviously I'm going to have to say Becky. But I have this gut feeling that Oscar might win this. You know, this heel Oscar. I, I'm loving this whole new. You know, yeah, I'm glad they actually brought Oscar back up because they screwed her last year, and, mm-hmm. and, and 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 Becky pointed that too. Like she was on top of the world, she was undefeated, she was doing great. She lost one match to Charlotte, broke her undefeated streak. It's okay. She had that the happens. she had the title was was right going into WrestleMania, and a week before mm-hmm. WrestleMania, they had Charlotte take the title from her. Yeah, like, exactly. It, she she got screwed. Exactly, like, exactly. And I I personally think she's going to get her moment now. I think she's going to personally get the title, mm-hmm. and she's going to have a nice little run. I think she might lose it at WrestleMania, but I think she. Is going to get the, the the recognition and the push that I think she should have deserved the first time she did get it. This this is really tough to decide. The reason why is I I, I don't, it is hard. <laughs> Listen, I'll tell you the one reason that holds me back from from saying yes. I definitely think Oscar is going to win it is because she'll she'll be one the world the excuse me the women's champion and she'll be a tag team champion. I don't know if they're going to have her with two belts like they did with, mm. with Becky Lynch. That's the mm. one thing. I don't know if they're going to give her two belts. Okay. But with that said, I think something's going to happen where I like think she pull, where I think she pulls it off. Ooh. I, I think Ooh. I, I think she's going to pull it off. I, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to lose the tag belts maybe on Monday night or something like that. But I think they're going to let her beat Becky. I think that would be best for the because Dude, we, and, have, and we it, already know how good Becky is. Of she completely dominated last year. I think she needs some somebody new to rival and with. And if she it. beats her, what's the rival? Exactly. The and think about it. If Oscar beats her, that's going to be an amazing storyline where she's getting into Becky's head. Becky can beat her. Yep. She hasn't beaten. Just Oscar. don't put Charlotte in there again. You know? That's yeah, annoying. Exactly. And and you know what? Like I said, the, the, to me that, that that's going to add amazing credibility. To the feud, again, going into WrestleMania, because I do yeah. think that the winner of this match will defend the title yeah. at WrestleMania. Yeah. And like, Maybe and against I, each other again. And yeah. like I said, win or lose, I, I, like, you know, again, I, I think personally Oscar will benefit a lot more than Becky oh, definitely. taking the title to WrestleMania. Definitely. Like I said, if she loses, no problem. And I don't see what's the point of building this up for the past couple of weeks to just have her lose in one match no, and it's no, over. No, no, it, no, it, no. Can't, it can't happen that way. I think we could both agree that we're both, that this isn't, that this isn't going to be the last time we're going to see them to face off. Um, this weekend, I think we're going to see more of them in a couple months. But, um, but yeah. here's, here's an extra question: Do we see the mist in Becky's eyes this week? <laughs> Does Oscar oh, get her? Oh. Does she get her? Uh, I think no. she's brazen. No. Oh, you no, said no? No, 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 no. I, don't think I said she doesn't. No, she's not. No, I think she's going to save for the big stage or. <laughs> Possibly, like you know, the, like the, the upcoming uh, shows, yeah. uh, uh, you know, to be, I, before the big show. I think not, not yet. I think we will see it though. I think we will see it, but All just right. not this weekend though. All right. So now the last match before the two main, the two Royal Rumbles, the Fiend versus Daniel Bryan. This has been a, a big growing rivalry for the past couple pay per views. Um, made Daniel Bryan shave and cut his hair. Like <laughs> yeah. this, they, they've been completely all in on this one. Um, I'm gonna say. That we're gonna have another new champion. I, I wow. think I think Daniel Bryan is gonna win this because, first of all, wow. I don't like I don't like the title on the Fiend. I, I really uh-huh. don't. I, I I think it's weird to have him as a champion. I always thought that even when he won the title, I thought he was gonna be somebody that listen. I don't need the title. I don't care about the title. I just want to mess with your head. That's right, what right, I thought right, it was gonna right. be. So when he won the title, I was like, all right, he won the title. That's what people wanted. But I just don't like it really on him. I don't see him as a champion. That's gonna. I don't want to see the Fiend defend the champion. If it was Bray Wyatt, a regular wrestler, but the Fiend is like a weird character. He wrestles in in the Red Cloud and everything like that. I, I don't see that continuing on. So I think Daniel Bryan's gonna win the title, 
And I think a new challenger, maybe the winner of the Royal Rumble, may end up challenging him. So I got Daniel Bryan. What do you got? I, I personally just don't see The Fiend going away like that, you know. I, I mean, I do. I don't think it'll go away. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, like, in the sense of, like, wow, that's it. Like, you know, t- you know, Bryan, new title. But, again, you know what? Like, again, you do make a good point. I do agree with you. You know, like, ha- ha- like see, seeing The Fiend... With the title and, and defending it is a little weird, like like you said, like the 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 the, the fire the red funk. mist and, and the, yeah, like 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 the other yeah, and even when he came out as Bray Wyatt, that was super weird having to come out to the to the, the <laughs> yeah. Firefly Funhouse that, playing. That's what and I'm he's saying. like smiling during yeah. the match is like so weird. Exactly, like. but I mean that's always been Bray Wyatt's character, which is weird, you know, uh, like uh, you know, uh, always second guessing what's you know what's going to be his next step. I just don't think that we're going to see The Fiend go out like this at the Royal Rumble. See, this, this is what I compare it to. Him carrying the title would be like if they had Demon Balor carrying the title. They won it. They had Finn carrying the title. They don't have yeah, Demon yeah, Balor. Yeah, exactly. So I feel like it's something that can come out every once in a while. But it's it, having them come out for pretty much every pay-per-view as The Fiend, I, I just don't like it. Mm-hmm. I think it wears it down a little bit. Okay. No, and, and, and like I said, you do make a great point. But I'm going to have to go with Bray Wyatt in this one. Right. Again, this is another com- hot commodity that we got introduced to not too long ago yeah. in, in the business. And, again, I do think that uh, from a marketing standpoint, um, I, I think this is going to be a great, great um, you know, I- item to use for WrestleMania. The Fiend as a champion, defending it with whoever. I, I-, I think this this could be a potentially big, uh, be a big match down the road. Now, you might be right. Daniel mm-hmm. Bryan might win. And who knows if he might come out in the Royal Rumble, make a you know, surprise or... You know, let's see what happens though. But um, but I do have the. Uh, I'm sorry, I do have the fiend of uh, retaining. All right, so now we we'll go to the two Royal Rumble matches. Let's start out with the women's. I- I'm going to give my pick first because I think this is a person that's set up perfectly to win it because <clears throat> she's already beaten a couple champions. I think Shayna Baszler wow. will, come out, will come out winning the Women's Royal Rumble. Now, we're each going to have two picks, so that's my first pick. I think because, listen, she was in the three-champion ma- match. She beat um, um, Becky. She beat – yeah, and she lost her one-on-one, but she's beating her in the three-way match. She's beating every, um, Bailey in the three-way match. So, no matter which one of them is a champion, she's beating them in a match. So, And plus, she's kind of being built up to go up to the next spot in either SmackDown or Raw 2. I think a mm. perfect scenario is if Bailey won her match, and this is why I said that match earlier kind of meant something. If Bailey wins her match, I can see Shayna Baszler coming up to SmackDown wow. to, to challenge wow. her the title. Wow. So that's my first pick. Who, who's your first pick for me? Wow. Wins? Look, I, I mean, look, this is a, this is actually a weird, um, a weird scenario because I was leaning towards Shayna Baszler, but <laughs> uh-huh. but she wasn't my first pick. Okay. She was going to be my second pick. So I, I I will say that she is my second pick. Okay, I do think there's a really, really, really strong possibility of her winning the Rumble, like you said, not just to, you know to continue pushing her the way you know she because she, she's been dominant. Yeah, but like not, not two time champion exactly, like, and you don't it's see two time champions. In it's one time. Year. It's time. She should graduate up to the, um, to the top, top e- slot. E- either, either if she doesn't win the Rumble, I think she's going to have a good match in the Rumble. Yeah. Where, obviously, she's going to come to the main roster right afterwards, mm-hmm. and they might set her up for a possible future match. But I think she's going to be my second t- uh, contender. All right. You, you might not like this, but... So you, yeah, take, take your second one out. Yeah. But, but my, my, my first pick, and I, who do I think is going to actually win, is going to be Charlotte Flair. Oh, hell yeah, no! I know, I know. Come you're, on! <laughs> I know you're not I a fan. I don't want to hear that. I know come you're not a fan. On. I know that's not what you want to hear, Man, but I'm gonna have you to go with Charlotte Flair. Me. I do think we're possible. What are the look, sound effects, Javi? Boo this man! <laughs> I, I, I think we're gonna see. I think we're gonna see a, a, a possible, possible rematch or a triple threat match with Becky Lynch involved. Because I did pick Oscar to win, but again, I see a triple threat or or, or I just see her involved mm-hmm. in the women's title match yeah. at WrestleMania. There's no way I don't oh, see her involved, God. and the only way I do see her involved. Is by winning the Royal Rumble. I think they're going to give it to her. And um, again, like I, like I said, oh it's God. not the popular opinion. I oh. don't want to see it happen. It's like Roman Reigns winning. That's if, what, if you that's ask pretty- me, if you ask me, who do I want to see? Shayna Baszler, probably, and possibly like a second national that I would love to see win is, is your girl Alexa Bliss. Mm-hmm. That's a girl that I think that you know that that could benefit right now doing big things at WrestleMania, which she will be a, a part of, obviously. Yeah, she, she's in it. But yeah. I would love to see her a part of a big match. Weird, weird enough, they only announced four, four women. So yeah, right that, now, yeah. there's a lot of people that can that's just jump weird, in That's super weird, guys. There. And stay tuned until Friday. But they got, they got Alexa, they have um, Nikki Cross, they have Charlotte, and they have uh, Sarah Logan. Yeah, those those Sarah are Logan. only four people that they've announced. But. And stay tuned until Friday, because I'm sure we're going to hear more announcements. Yeah. Though, but, um, but yeah, um, like I said, throwing a little swerve, I think Charlotte Flair does... Uh, 
All right, pick so, this up. All right, so for my second second women's pick, I, it goes back to what I was saying earlier. If Bailey had won, I think Shayna would win. If um, I think Shayla would win that title and challenge Bailey. If she loses the title, I think Sasha Banks wins, and she will be the one challenging Lacey Evans for that title because it kind of fits with the rivalry that they've been having recently. The now the one thing, the one smoke screen I'm going to uh, throw in there is there's always surprises, and I think they're keeping back a lot of surprises for the women. The, the re- that's the reason why they've only announced four people so far. The one person that I can see joining that will get the biggest pop, and I've mentioned this actually on social media, that she's been gone for a long time, and even though we were getting a little bit tired of her when she left, she would get a big pop in her return. Ronda Rousey. Ooh, if, oh, if Ronda Rousey oh, comes back. Wow, that's a good. You know, that's and, a good and, I, and, and I know Ronda Rousey has been talking Ooh. with Triple H lately about when she when she will return and everything like that. If she returned, that crowd would go nuts. And, and also keep an, keep an eye out for one other person that may be returning during the Royal Rumble, Nia Jax. Okay, yeah. I, I, I don't I, think I, she would I, win. I think she's going to return. I, I do. Yeah, agree I don't think you. she would win, but she may return on Sunday. You, you don't think it's too soon for Ronda? No, I don't. I don't think so at all. Mm. Uh, remember, she left pretty much at WrestleMania. She can come back at WrestleMania. So, True. so it's almost like you're you're right into the road to WrestleMania, I, right I coming back. I do. I do agree with you on that one. And, and, and I don't. And I don't see her see her being brought back just for the WrestleMania match on. I think she's got to be put in there, get everybody excited because they want subscribers for of WrestleMania. Course, of course. So she's got to come back before. So this is the perfect time to bring her back in. And then you got a couple months, couple months right before WrestleMania. I completely agree with you, man. Honestly, and and, and you do. Make make really good points because um again that's what WWE is about is you know making noise getting the subscribers and getting everybody hyped up for WrestleMania all right now for the men now for the men's side um obviously listen Roman Reigns is gonna be the favorite because he because he ah, went fuck that. And I'm not saying I'm gonna pick him I'm not picking uh, him at all but because I would hate to see him later, reason, but, look, hey reason. you pick Charlotte so uh, <laughs> I know I know he, that's I know. like Roman so Everybody's gonna pick Roman to win. Nobody He's gonna to be the favorite. Him. Nobody wants to see it. Maybe Brock Lesnar again. I'm not, I'm not picking it. So I'm actually for my first pick. It's not gonna be my surprise. Not, my first pick is somebody that I think they're building up because I think, if, as we saw with the Viking Warriors, yeah. WWE likes to build up people through squash matches. I don't know why. I don't like it, but they like to do that. Like it. They had a bunch of squash matches, and then all of a sudden they're the champion. Yeah. Somebody that they've had a couple squash matches over the past couple of weeks. Drew McIntyre. Oh, so really? Drew, Drew McIntyre is somebody. That's my first pick. Oh. I, I think he's going to be one of the favorites. If they he had, had a, he had a big he had a big pop on 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 Monday Night Raw when he when when he officially announced that he was going to go in. Yeah, you know, and, and and not just participate in the Royal Rumble, but win it and grab and make and make sure that he took. Make sure that he brought the opportunity upon himself, yeah. and it wasn't handed to him. And he got a good uh, crowd reaction. Yeah, uh, he's been getting good crowd reactions lately. I think he would get, <laughs> and I could see him actually being one of the people that finds a way to get um, Brock out of the ring. So um, that's my first pick. Who's your first pick for the Royal Rumble? My first pick, um, I, I've, I think Shayna Baszler isn't going to be the, uh, the the only one that we're going to see come up from NXT. <laughs> I think we're going to see the return of Finn Balor come wow. back on Sunday. And I think he's gonna win the Royal Rumble. I think he's gonna really? win, I think he's gonna win the Royal Rumble. And I think this is gonna set up the demon Why? versus the fiend for WrestleMania. Remember, wow. the fiend was the one that took out Finn Balor and sent them back to NXT. Yeah. That was the last time we even heard of Finn Balor. I think and again, I'm thinking uh, look, this makes too much sense for mm-hmm. WWE to do because <laughs> usually they do the complete opposite and love to swerve people. Yeah. And this might not happen, but I have a good feeling that the same way Oscar took a break, went to NXT. Mm-hmm. The same way Finn Balor's at NXT right now. Again, you know, like he said, people that go to NXT, they got to perform. Yeah. This isn't a storyline, three-hour shows where, you know, they could fill you in, in and out. No, this yeah. is where you got to perform and win the crowd. And obviously, Finn's amazing at doing that. I think now's a perfect time to bring him back, win the Rumble, which he hasn't done, and put the title back on him or, you know, give him another title shot because since when we first seen Finn debut on the on the main roster, mm-hmm. which was a couple years ago, right before SummerSlam, and he got that title shot it he was won. immediate, yeah. Dude, he was huge. It was immediate. And unfortunately, he, he did sustain hurt, an yeah. energy, uh, uh, injury where he had to um, forfeit the title. Yeah. I think he's going to come back, 
get another opportunity at WrestleMania. That would be awesome. And that could possibly set up The Fiend versus The Demon King at WrestleMania. Again, <laughs> maybe crazy. this is just, you know, the the hardcore wrestling fan in me yeah. hoping and wishing, though. But I think this is a really good possibility with the fact that The Fiend did beat Finn. The, uh, you know, not not The Demon King, but he did beat yeah. Finn Balor really yeah. bad. he's the one that and, set okay, him down. This, this yeah. could be his revenge match. So, again, I'm going to go with The Demon, uh, Finn Balor or Demon King at mm-hmm. Royal Rumble. All right, so... This this one is tough for my for my second one. Not really. Yeah, listen. Mm-hmm. First of all, there, there's another person that has been scripted. getting a lot of wins in squash matches. We don't know the script, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you can bet on it. <laughs> 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 listen, another guy that's been getting a lot of squash matches, and he had a couple good matches against Buddy Murphy, Alistair Black. Okay. I think I think Alistair Black is one of those guys that Ooh. he has a lot of people behind him, and I could just imagine him. Like staring down Brock Lesnar as a after that WrestleMania entrance, and it'll be a great entrance with him coming out and everything like that. I, I can see Aleister Black as that guy who can challenge either him or the Fiend or or somebody decide to go against the Fiend or somebody like that. Aleister Black, my second person, but I also want to add one thing. We don't know who. There's eight guys that we don't know who are going to be in the Royal Rumble yet. We only know 22 guys. Right. There's one guy that if he is in the Royal Rumble, I will pick him. Wait, what? There's one guy that if he's in there. And the reason why is, one, because he has everybody behind him right now. And two, listen, CM Punk is one of those people that... No, 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 no. I'm not picking Punk. I'm not picking Punk. No, no, no. Don't get your hopes up. I know when people mention his name, everybody goes crazy. No, I'm not not picking him to win it. Um, CM Punk is one of those people that just doesn't care if he gets in trouble, doesn't care if he lets stuff out. And he may be one of those people that says, fuck you, Vince, I'm going to tell you who's going to win it. And this past week, <laughs> he said Keith Lee. I think Keith Lee is on such a big he, – he, he was just as big as Red Ripley during the last um, Survivor Series. Ah, he dominated everybody. We saw him. We saw that him hot, uh, during yes. the live event. Everybody went nuts over him. God he is the it. star of NXT right now. Dude, he, look, and I can tell you from firsthand experience, like, there, there was probably He's kids, ridiculous, too. There, there was probably grown-ass men in that crowd that probably didn't know who he was, and they fucking enjoyed watching yeah, the shit out of him. He, this guy is athletic ridic- as fuck. He's 350 Jesus. pounds doing backflips off the top rope. Right. Like, he is Jeez. unbelievable. So, and it, like they say, he's the moment maker. And what would be a bigger moment than no to win the way. WrestleMania main event? So wow. I, that, I, if he is in it, if he's one of the eight people, I think he will win it. And, and he can go against anybody. He'll go against The Fiend. He'll go against Daniel Bryan. He'll go against um, Brock Lesnar. He can go against anybody. If he's in it, he's going to win it. That's my, wow. that's my pick. What's your second wow. pick? Sorry to follow that up. but. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna nah, 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 nah. I had to, I had to, I had to. I'm sorry. Listen, you brought up punk, man. I couldn't help it. Um my my second pick, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to go with AJ Styles in this one. Okay. Again, I'm gonna have to go I with AJ Styles. I thought about him too. Um I think now's the perfect time. Look, correct me if I'm wrong, AJ hasn't main evented a, a, a WrestleMania yet. I don't know. Um I think I think with the little bit of time that AJ's been with the WWE, I think that we could both agree that you know, with, with with his wrestling experience coming down from years and years and years ago from other companies, he does bring this veteran uh, type of experience into the organization. And, yeah. and, and, and there are superstars in the company that look up to AJ as, oh, if, yeah, he, a, as if he's been with the WWE company for a very long time. Why? Because, you know, like I said, AJ's, that, that, that's in his blood. Wrestling's in his blood. Yeah. I think now's been a perfect. For 20 years old. Exactly. I think now's a perfect opportunity for, for him to not just win the Royal Rumble, but to go on to WrestleMania and possibly co-main event or main event, um, you know, a championship match. I yeah. think now's a perfect time to do so and pull the trigger. Yeah. Like I said, you know, there's a lot of possibilities. We could see AJ Brock. Which we've seen before, and it was a yeah. great fucking match. That's the match. only reason I didn't take it, though, because we saw that before, and I think for WrestleMania, they want something new. That's the only True. reason. Because I did True. look at AJ. True, too. that's a good point. That's the reason he's not my number one. Yeah. yeah that's not, and, 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 and that's the reason he's not my pick. number one, though. But I do like AJ Styles. Um, if he doesn't win, I do think he's going to make a long run. He might be like the final four in, the, yeah. in that, in that I in the men's match. That. I completely agree with that. Now, I did say that, listen, one of the big shockers would be if we saw Ronda Rousey, for the women's, if we saw Ronda Rousey. I said, keep, I said, keep a lookout for Nia Jax. Um, for the men's, I said Keith Lee. There's one person that has been on social media kind of like teasing a little bit whether he's going to come back. And all I'm saying is that if you ever hear this music, stop. everything's going to go crazy. So, you can get a 
Yeah, YouTube fucks up, by the way, playing commercials. <laughs> they messed up the whole moment. But the suspense that, is real now. <laughs> God but, damn it. But the point is that if you if you go in there and just count it down, and then you hear this music. Wow. No and way. He had, and he looks in great shape. No way. He hasn't wrestled in years. And he is in, like, everybody's top ten all-time wrestlers. Edge is a big oh. chance he could maybe be one of those eight people that we see on Sunday. Jeez. And with oh. that said... Listen, everybody enjoy the Royal Rumble match. We're going to be back back on Sunday or Saturday to give you that Super Bowl pick. And listen, it's been, just enjoy the Royal Rumble. Enjoy yeah. the rest guys, of the matches. Listen, guys, and, enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the Royal Rumble. This is the best time of the year, man. We got the Super Bowl laying in right around the corner. We got the road to WrestleMania beginning at the Royal Rumble, man. And a couple One weeks, of my favorite pay-per-views. And then a couple weeks, then we got March Madness. And we'll be back to tell you a lot of stuff about that when those picks come up. But with that said... We will catch you on Sunday. Peace out, guys. Later.